Hello everybody, Mike Brelsford, Brelsford Works. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. I appreciate it. Today I'm going to delve into the way I display my goods at my craft shows. And I have these towers. I have two of these towers. And I also have these ladder ends. And what I've got, and I'll show you pictures of it, I've got shelves that have cleats on the bottom that slip on either side of these these uh, cross pieces between the two posts that go from the tower to the ladder on both sides and then I have a table that goes between the two towers and with two shelves that are above that going across the top of the table so I'd like to claim that these were my idea but they're not I got the idea from Sean Graham on his channel worth the effort um, it, I thought it was a great design. His were more refined. I did mine the way I did them uh, for expediency uh, strictly at the time and I kind of like the, the, the rustic look. Um, but there are some definite uh, disadvantages to the way I did them. His, he took the time and I'm not sure, I can't remember if he mortised them into the uprights, the, the cross pieces. Um, but they were, at the very least, they were flush with the posts. Um, with them on the surface, when you go to put them in the trailer, it's kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, you you got to kind of lift them up and put them on because they obviously they can't slide because of these cross pieces. Um, so that's one of the things I'm going to change on the new one. So I'm going to I'm going to do a, a half lap joint on all these. Um, on both the ladder end and on the towers. Also, the original ones I made it out of made them out of pine because uh, I had the pine. It came right off my property. It was uh, excess from my shop building, and so I decided uh, you know I had plenty of it. And that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, so this time they're all going to be oak, and um, you know they're going to be a, a, a far better look. Uh, you know, displays uh, at the shows are, uh, you know, you get started, um, I cobbed together stuff, and uh, you can see in the picture I'm showing you that it was, it was kind of pathetic. I, we had a table, we put a tablecloth over it, and we had cheesy plastic shelves that we either had some on top of the table, or, and they were very rickety, it, it was, it was terrible, and it, it just looked awful. And um, so we decided we had to do some kind of upgrade, and that's why I went. I looked on on YouTube for good ideas, and I found Sean Graham's idea to be probably the best that I saw. Um, it they 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 also stack uh, up together, so all the shelves slide into the towers. So when I put them in my trailer, both towers go in. All of the shelves stack inside. So it all it keeps it very contained, and they go up very very fast when you're setting up. So that is why I did that. Uh, so and, and they also looked far better than anything I had had before. But now I want to step up my game just a little bit more. And with that, I've spent this whole morning uh, milling wood uh, for the towers and the ladder ends, and that's what I'm going to start with. I'll worry about the shelves later on. Uh, so let me show you what I've got. So here I've got uh, all of the sets that I need for posts for the, the towers and the ladder ends. Uh, so each side has one tower and one ladder end. And this is, all, this is enough for all of that. This is some willow oak that I got from the hospital that I used to work at. It was excess that they weren't going to use, and they told me to go ahead and take it. Um, it's somewhat spalted, so I think that'll add to the look. Uh, how they are and uh, so yeah so I've got them all roughly dimensioned I don't have them to the final dimensions but I got to plane them first and then we'll get them nice and square so here I've got all of the cross pieces I'm going to need uh, also for the cleats on the bottom of the shelves this should be plenty for all of that and um, yeah uh, all I, again I got to plane all this and then cut them to the final dimensions
All right, I'd like to first apologize for how much of a pigsty my shop is. You'd think with all the time off I had that I'd be able to clean it up, but I didn't spend much time out in the shop while I was recuperating, so I'm trying to just take it slow. All right, enough of that. Okay, I'm ready to start cutting for the cross pieces and the uprights on the towers. And what I do is I take my uh, Japanese crosscut saw, dovetail saw, and I, I cut the uh, along the marks for the cross pieces and I get it down to about 3 eighths of an inch. And then I'm just going to freehand the router. Anything I gotta clean up, I do with my chisel. Okay, now I'm cutting the uh, the rabbits onto the cross pieces on both the towers and the uh, ladder ends, and I'm using my um, router table for that. And let's get those done. <laughs> working on uh, putting together the ladder ends and I'm going to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue and then brad the rungs onto the uprights uh, I'm going to get it square and then after I get that all done I'm going to clamp on a cap over the top of it and glue it on as well it's be both decorative and add a little bit more support Nice and square. I'll put in the rest of the rungs, I'll put on my caps. Okay, now I'm going to assemble my ladder ends. Uh, I'm going to apply some glue and then put in my cross pieces. After I do that, I'm going to get my flush trim bit out and I'm going to knock off all these ends and flush up the, the caps on there so that when I put the new cap on this outside that it, it you know, it'll be good to go.
right, let's see how this one looks. Standing up. Nice. Let's get the other one assembled. All right, now I'm gonna trim off all these little ends here. I'm gonna use my flush trim bit on my router and uh, get that all set up so I can put a cap on all these other ends. Okay, I'm putting on the final trim pieces. And what I am going to do, and uh, I'm not sure all, I, all of them I have are the right length, and the ones that are gonna be in the back, I'm gonna trim up and just put in, piece it together. And uh, I know I'm not building fine furniture, this is a display, and that will be behind the scenes, so to speak. So I'm not super worried about it, but let's get the, and I'm also gonna, instead of clamping these, I'm gonna hit them on with brads. Again, I'm going to put these on and then I'm going to, I will trim them off with my flush trim bit. Okay, both my ladder ends and both my towers are complete. It's time to sand, which I'm going to show in every detail, maybe even some slow-mo. Just kidding. I think if it was a matter of uh, showing it to prisoners of war, I'm pretty sure that would be a violation of the Geneva Convention. All right, so I'm going to sand off camera, and uh, I'm gonna, when I come back, we're going to make the shelves. So I got all my rough shelving material glued up. Now it's to cut them all into universal nine inch shelves. Okay, it's time to cut the uh, shelves to size. I'm going to start with the two long ones because I'm just going to cut them, measure them, and then cut them to length. Uh, whereas the, the ten shorter shelves that go from the towers, each tower to the ladder ends, I'm going to make a jig so that they're all identically 60 inches. Um, but these have to be 68, and since I'm only doing two, I'm not going to take the time to, to make that a jig. So here we go. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is going to cut all of the short shelves on one end and get one end squared up and then I'm going to make something that they all get cut exactly 60 inches.
right, I've got my jig set up down there on the end. I've got this marked out to 60 inches. And now I'm going to cut them all to that uniform size. All right, so all I'm going to do now is put an eighth of an inch round over on all sides of my shelves. And I've got my Bosch Cult uh, trim router, and that's what I am going to use. That one is ready for the cleats. The next thing will be the cleats that will hold it onto the tower and the ladder ends. Okay, so now I'm going to start mounting the cleats uh, for setting these things onto the towers and the ladder ends. And what I'm going to do, I got my cleats cut. I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the center. I've got it, the shelf stopped up against the stop nice and square and then I will square up my cleat and I will shoot it in then I will take a piece of the uh, cross material and I'll put it here and then I will put up my other cleat against it set it in and we want it to be fairly tight so that it holds everything nice and uh, nice and tight when it's set up you don't want it racking back and forth all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and I'm going to shoot two brads in the center to hold it and I'm going to add a couple screws on either side. So I've got the cross brace material here, and I'm going to put this on up tight against it. Uh, and the reason is, is that I'm going to sand these down, and that'll give just a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so I finished all of my shelves. I've now got the first coat of finish on them. I put uh, a coat of polyurethane and I have a coat of polyurethane on the towers and the ladder ends as well. So I'll let those dry tonight and put on another coat tomorrow. And by Tuesday, I should be able to put it all together, try it out. Okay, so here's my old towers and the old ladder ends and the old shelves. Now, they've served me well. I've used them, I think, two, two years now. Um, but they had some serious issues as far as uh, being rugged. Um, all they are were surface glued with some brads. Um, they, I mean, they've held up pretty good, but... I've had to do repairs uh, on a fairly regular basis. All of the shelves were just the rough pine. I didn't, I did a very light sanding on them, I think with just 60 grit, and that was it, because um, I wanted them to look kind of rustic. Um, I'm kind of through with that. Uh, I'm going to, I've stepped up my game, so I'll show you what, I'm, what I've got. Okay, so here are the new towers. There's the new ladder ends. And my new shelves. So these are all solid oak where the others were pine. Um, you know, I didn't get crazy about building these. I, they are built very much stronger than the other ones. Um, but uh, they, they, you know, I didn't get crazy. There's, it's not fine furniture. These are gonna get, these are gonna get beat up. They're gonna get put, thrown in the trailer um, it's just a rough life they lead, but these should last um, 
these should hold up much better than the last set but there again there's my shelves and and one of the things on these that made them so difficult is when I threw them into my trailer and I'd, I'd slide them in there the because these were surface mounted when I put the next one on top of this I had to lift it up and put it on there and they couldn't stack evenly they had to be always offset um, because of that and the same thing with the ladder ends they didn't just slide in they they had to be lifted up and on and they had to be lifted up on in now all of the all of the shelves did store inside which is one of the bonuses it's one of the things that's been very good about them but uh, again they had their limitations now with these all of the rungs are now recessed into the wood or there they were actually uh, uh, half lap joints and then I put a cap over them so they're all glued and bratted in and underneath this and so yeah they're not going anywhere all right so now I'm going to show you how I how they look set up um, why this design is so good and then I'll show you how I pack them into the trailer but I'm not I'm not gonna do a sh show you a full setup because I'm going to do that at one of my next shows and uh, when I do my setup in earnest and you can see uh, the whole thing um, from start to finish on how long it takes me to put it up I'll do the whole thing in real time all right so let's get on with setting it up okay so let's start putting this together I start with my two towers and I put my two long shells between them I always bring a small dead blow hammer with me to help set up. As they get used, they'll break in and be easier to assemble. Next thing I'll do is I'll have a ladder end and put on one of my, I'm going to start on my left hand side. So this is part where having two people would definitely come in handy, though I have done it by myself. I get a top one in, then I get my bottom one in. I have a, a even lower cleat than this, but I that one I leave open because we usually will put um, we'll usually put containers underneath there.
the left side, let's do the right side. You actually want it to fit pretty snug. It helps keep it from racking so much. And that's it. That's the whole, that's the way the shelves go together. Again, for a show, that is, that is very fast. Now I'm going to show you how they pack up and store inside the trailer. Okay, so let's get this thing packed up in the trailer. The first thing that goes in and I do it, always do it on my left side of the trailer, it's going to be the two towers. I always put this on the shelf, wrong side down. And here's where the new ones are going to come in handy. See how I'm sliding it in. I was able, never able to do that before. All right, and on top of that are going to go the two ladder ends. All right. Now we'll put the two bottom long, the two long shelves on the bottom, inside the bottom tower. Now I stack these things bottom to bottom, and that way, because of the cleats, it takes up less space. go in all the other shelves and I just stack them in as many on the bottom as I can then move up to the top
Now all this extra space I got in here, I stack my birdhouse posts. This is new for this year, is I've made the bases removable finally. So this is another piece of my kit, an uh, impact driver, 9 16 socket. Post in, and then the two legs right on top. Run the bolt back inside. again and that leaves all this other room for everything else I always put my table up against it and then I pack all my crates in on this side floor to ceiling there isn't a lot of room left over but uh, that's it all right thank you all for watching if you think you've gotten anything out of this please click like and subscribe I'd appreciate that also leave me comments I answer each and every one everybody have a great day bye bye